Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com back with another video tutorial in my series called Flashcards 2.0. Today's card is just, it's probably my new go-to flashcard template. I just find this little um, popped out sentiment and um, just the design of it to be really simple and elegant and perfect anytime I need to send a card. Let's get started with today's card. Now this one I did in pinks and in rose red. But just to shake things up, uh, the one I'm going to show you as we design is going to be done in some blues. My card base is in Pool Party, and my flashcard pieces are in Marina Mist and Whisper White. Now, if you've not seen the video um, explaining Flashcard 2.0, you might want to go over to YouTube and search Connie Stewart Flashcards 2.0. Should be the first video to pop up, and it's going to kind of explain how we take these two pieces of paper, keep them on hand at all times, and when you need a card in a flash, you grab two pieces, create your card, and you're on the go. My base card is in Pool Party, and it has been cut to 8.5 by 5.5, and, and I did a little special scoring on this. I scored it in half at 4 and a quarter, and then every quarter inch from the top, and then three um, score lines from the bottom, um, just every quarter inch, just to give it a little something, so when it all goes together, I have a little extra texture on my card. All right, well, we're going to begin by doing our stamping on our white card stock. Now, as I like to do, I did a little pre-stamping ahead of time. I stamped my sentiment, which is from um, Blessings from Heaven, and I'm going to be using the um, Stippled Blossom stamp set. Now, I love two-step stamping. I love the idea of looking like oh, I'm a watercolor artist when I'm not. I have started with my um, the out, you know, the solid image. I've stamped it in Pool Party, and this is important. You need to stamp off once and get just a little bit of that ink off of there because it's just a little bit heavy and I want a little bit lighter look. I'm then going to come in now with the uh, top portion, the flower portion, and we're not going to stamp off. I'm stamping that in Marina Mist, and you're just going to go right over that. And one thing I love about Stampin' Up's two-step stamps, it doesn't matter if you got it right dead on or not. Um, I'm going to come in now with some Certainly Celery and just add some leaves to the bottom and because this is whoops my stamp decided to stay with the pad let's grab that again um i'm going to add just a few leaves here around the edges because i just kind of like to fill things in now with my um wild wasabi ink and the out the kind of top portion we're going to come on in and give that a stamp. There we go. So now our card portion is done, our, all of our stamping. Now we're going to have a little fun with some punching. I'm going to bring in the curly label punch and I want to come in and punch out my sentiment just like so. Now I want to come in and bring in that marina mist piece and from each end I'm going to punch out two curly label punches because you know me, I'm never going to leave this just blank, am I? So let's go ahead and we're going to adhere this together and I'm going to put this down on my card front and I'm going to bring it just underneath that score line that I put on there. Now we can come in and add our stamped portion and we'll just adhere that right on top. We're looking good so far. Okay, now let's do something a little fun with these pieces. I'm going to come in with my scissors and I'm going to cut one in half long ways and the other in half short ways. I don't know if short ways is a word. It's a word today, okay? I'm going to now come in and just snip off these corners a little bit because when I go to make this little border, sometimes those corners like to show. So we're just going to get those out of the way. Here's something fun. All these little pieces that are left behind, yeah, throw those on the floor and let your kids clean it up. That's a lot of fun. Okay, so now I've got all my little pieces here. I'm ready to go. I'm going to take my stamp sentiment and I can just build myself a really pretty little border by just adding those right to the ends. Just another great way to use your punches in a unique way. You don't have to have all those layering punches. We're stamping up demonstrators. We come up with a way to make it work. 
Can you see that coming together? It is a really great technique, just like so. Now let's add that to our card. I'm just going to put a couple Stampin' Dimensionals on here, because I love anything that pops. And we'll just adhere this to the top to cover up that hole, because you know we can't leave that there. Look at that! Isn't that just precious? I'm just going to come in now with about 16 inches of ribbon, and I'm going to tie it in a knot here in the front. Of course, it's nice find whatever Stampin' Up! ribbon matches your cardstock, whether that's colored, as I did on my rose red one, or using just some white, which goes with everything. And there we have it. There's our two cards for today. I hope you enjoyed this version of Flashcard. I gotta tell you, it's kind of my new go-to. I love how it turned out. Now listen, if cutting is just not your thing, but you love the idea of flashcards, I now offer on my website, simplysimplestamping.com, flashcard kits to go. Everything you need to create the original flashcards and flashcards 2.0, and that you'll be able to have all the products, all the, or all the uh, cardstock cut, scored, ready to go, envelopes and everything to make 40 cards in a flash. Is that awesome or what? SimplySimpleStamping.com is where you'll be able to get those. And hey, while you're there, you can check out all the products from Stampin' Up! that I used to create my cards today. And I hope to see you on our next video in Flashcards 2.0. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.